Yeah, this is my house. Wow. <laughs> Tell me you come from such a rich home. That's not the first thing I want you to know about me. That is very good, Nina. Thank you, Ma. Thanks for the lunch, the ride and everything. I had a good time. We had so much fun. <laughs> um, dear. I would like us to meet with your parents if that is okay by you. If that is okay, please. Sure, I'll just inform them. <laughs> All right, we'll be waiting right here in the car. Just a moment, Ma. All right, yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. Shirley, baby, where is everybody? I mean your mom and the others. I don't know. There is nobody around. What do you mean you don't know? I've been in my room sleeping. And so? Shola, you are beginning to irritate me, you know. Okay. Where is your mother? Mommy and I have gone to drop in in our off at home. Yeah. That's very good. Uh, how long have they been gone for? Maybe one and a half hours or two. Oh, that means that they will soon be back. Okay. I don't know, Mom. Maybe she has gotten into trouble with her parents. Oh, she stayed out too late. That would be so fair. Mom, let's go and find out, please. You think we should? Let's just go and find out, at least to know why. Oh, you mean you want to see her mother? Yes, but you want to see Nina first. I don't understand what you mean. 
She asked us to wait outside so we can see her parents. Are you people so bad at all? What is wrong with this man? Excuse me, but you don't have to be rude. Is this a Nenna's mother you want to see or what? Yes. I don't want to see. Hey, hey, better. Instead of you to speak simple and straightforward English, you are talking go and come. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. I'm Nina's brother. My mother will be with shortly. Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mrs. Fashala and this is my son Aki. We are here to apologize for Inna coming home a little late tonight. I hope you weren't too angry with her. What is she talking about? Madam, please, we don't understand you. <laughs> I mean, we invited Irina over for lunch today. Please, 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 please stop. I, I hope there is no problem. Madam, why are you talking about Irina like this in the present? Do you not know that she's no more? What do you mean she's no more? Died so long ago. What? That can't be. What do you mean that can't be? <laughs> because we just talked about an hour ago outside. That is not possible. Yes. You must have seen her ghost. What? No. I met, I met her just about two months ago and I saw her virtually every day at school. <laughs> oh God. It's not possible. I, I talked to her. I touched her. We ate together, Mom. No. And she helped me out of my academic problem for goodness sake. And that was why we invited her over for lunch. To show her appreciation for what she did for Aki. We saw her. We ate together. We talked to her. She brought light back into our home. Nina, that's what I mean. This is not possible. Take it easy, Aki. This is not possible, Mom. She, she wants the best thing that ever happened in my life. Nina, oh, okay. Mom. It's okay. Let's go. 
Okay, come on, let's go inside. Just long. Dear, something has happened. Something? Yes. What something? Where's my son? <laughs> What's going on here? Dear, you won't believe what has happened. You won't believe it. That she was a ghost. I don't understand it. How can she be a ghost? Blank. Oh my god. The pictures I took of her are blank.
I'm over here. Get! Fire! Ah! Oh, okay. Yeah. Please don't run away from me. Just don't run away from me so I can talk to you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can see you not running away from me. Please, I am not going to hurt you. <laughs> what do you want from me? We're dead. Huh? Why did you deceive me? Huh? Why did you tell me you're a ghost? Would you have believed me? Would you have let me talk to you? Well, no, but... Exactly my point. I didn't want to say you at first. What, what exactly do you think you've done? Huh? It's just you come into my life. You, you make me and my family fall in love with you and then you disappear and scare the hell out of me. Do you really mean that? What? That you and your family fell in love with me. That's not the point. Huh? That's not the That's point. That's so sweet of you. Oh, don't come close. Don't come close. Look, I'm sorry it happens that way. But I had no choice. A choice for what? I was cured by someone who was trying to lay his hands on my father's will. What? Yes. And I want you to help me stop him. Hmm? Oh. Are you kidding me? Only you can do this for me. What do you mean by that? Haven't you figured it out yet? You have a special gift. Not just to perceive things that would happen in the future, but also to see and hear the dead. Mm -hmm. That is, before the spirits ascend or descend. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Huh? What about all those people that saw and talked to you? Uh, what about my folks? They all saw you. They can no longer see me because now they know I am not alive. See, spirits have a way of making themselves visible and physical as long as they are not discovered. Why do you think I can change my clothes, eat and dine with you guys? But as soon as they are discovered, they can no longer be seen. Then, then how, how come I can still see and hear you? That's because you have this esoteric gift. And that's why I can make myself visible to you. This is all so confusing. 
It's just really, really confusing. Okay. Do this for me. For friendship's sake. I have a very short time. my father's friend and chief operation officer of my father's company. He killed my father. What? I didn't even know your father was dead. It all started when my father brought my elder brother Judy to start working in the company after he graduated from the university. Yes, Willicky. I want Judy to start with this company immediately so that he can gain enough experience. Oh, has he graduated already? Yes, of course. He, he had a first class. Break in the record of the department after about 15 years. 15 good years. Oh, that is wonderful. Judy, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is very impressive. Good. Yeah, that's why I want him here. So that he can learn fast and start believing me of a lot of work. Oh, that is good. That is really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know these young people and their bizarre ideas. I want them to learn from the experience. To tell you. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then he can infuse some new blood into the system. Oh, I agree with you completely. <laughs> So, uh, Judy, uh, you're going to work directly under Willicky. He has a wealth of experience. He knows everything about the company. So, stick to him like a glue. All right, Dad, I, I, I will do just that. And remember, he's a boss. <laughs> I don't want to start thinking that uh, because you're a gas son or because you have a first class then you begin to blow guy for everybody. Huh? Come on, Dad. You know I won't do that. I know you're not that kind of person. <laughs> oh, Trudy is my boy. He's like a son to me. It's good to hear that. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so then, uh, let's go show him his office. Shortly after my brother started working in the company, my father died. No matter how much craft you apply to hide evil, it takes an ordinary everyday situation to expose it. Don't tell me someone was behind all this. I told you we all trusted and relied on Mr. Willicky for everything. He was always there for us. But the day the wind was to blow, the hen was oblivious. If not, she would have entered a pen. Hmm. Trust me. Mr. Willicky had dropped me off at the university because I was processing my admission.
I'm coming to pick you up around 4 p.m. So you wait here. You don't have to. I can find my way. No. I don't want you gallivanting around after you finish here. I'm coming back to take you home. Oh, Uncle now. I mean it, Nena. I promise your mom that I'll do so. Okay, whatever. Joshua, mm -hmm. please come to the front. Yes, sir. I didn't really take note of the man in the car. I only had a look at him. When I realized that I had left my phone in the car, I wasn't too bothered because he was coming back to pick me. So. Exactly 4 p.m. Uncle Willie Key came to pick me up as he promised. Always on time. Good evening, Uncle. Did you finish all you had to? Yes, Uncle. Thanks. What is it? I left my phone when you dropped me off. You did? Look for it very well. I hope it is still there. I hope so. Have you found it? It's there. I found it. Oh, thank God. I didn't even hear it ring. I think I put it on silent. Okay, that must be it then. It must have dropped when I was getting Thank God, it is still intact. Come on, Amy. Huh. I would have cried if I lost it. It was my father's gift to me on my 17th birthday. Just before he passed on. So I really cherish it. But unknown to me, Mr. Willigi and his companion, I had not switched off the video recorder when I got off earlier. I put on the replay and got the most awkward moment of my life. It must not drop, otherwise the champ is destroyed, and the boy will be cured of his madness and the cause will be fat to you. God forbid! Then, you must keep close to the family to keep watch on it. It must not drop, and no one must find it. Give me the phone. No! Give me the phone! Why should I? No one can ever know where I found the child. Just as they can never know how I got rid of Chief. <laughs> you, you killed my father. It's not what you killed on my brother. I made him go mad. Why? After all my father did for you. Nina, it's not what you think. You think I'm stupid? I had everything you said. I can't believe we trusted you. I feel so disgusted. Let me out of the car. Come on. Go nowhere. Dad, what are you doing? Don't you really care? Let me out of the it car. It's your curiosity that kills the car. By this time, it was getting late and there was no help outside. It was obvious what Uncle Willicky wanted to do. So, I had to think fast. Uncle Willicky, let me stand down! Uncle Willicky! I'm going to open the door now! Uncle Willicky! 
The last thought on my mind was that Emma will find my bag someday and expose Mr. Willigi for what he did. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Nina. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry about what, Aki? I'm already dead. What else do you expect me to say? Anyway, that's how I got killed. But Mr. Willikin made them believe I committed suicide. He said I must have walked in front of a moving vehicle. Whereas, I was murdered in cold blood. By the same man? Who killed your father and made your brother go mad? I mean, in that state, he must pay for this. Yeah. And that's why I need your help. My help? To, to do what? I need you to help me warn my mother. Are you kidding? It's bad enough for me to say I've seen you. And now that you are still talking to me, that's a bit much. You tell her it's a message from me. No way! Listen, Aki. If you don't do this, no one knows what else Willikie has up his sleeves. The danger is not just the fact that my mother doesn't know what he did. But she trusts him. Same way my father trusted him. And he's no more today. I don't know how we will have managed without you. Don't even say it. You don't know what this family means to me. I don't know how we would have managed with Judy's condition without you. We will just make sure that uh, he stays calm so that the situation does not get worse. Or get better, eh? Huh? Mr. Backstabber. I don't understand. Why all these ills are befalling me all at once? I don't know who I have offended. Let's hear what the rubbish he wants to say. Oh, you have not offended anyone. You remember the story of Joe? How all he had was taken away from him and his children even died. Oh yes, I remember the story of Job and you must play Satan in this story, right? Mom, you didn't tell Uncle about the visitors we had. What visitors? Well, well I would like to be on my way. Your sister. Judy, can you hear me? Please just make a sign and let me know. Oh, 
I wish I could cry. But I can't. But I promise you, Chidi, I'll get you out of this and make Willie pay for all he has done to us. I promise you. Aki, you mean you can still see and hear her and we can't? Yes, Mom. But why? Because she said I have this, um... She called it something. Esoteric. Yes. I have this esoteric gift. <laughs> and I mean special, peculiar. Exactly. Shh. Aki. Yes, her. Are you sure this is not just imagination? Abby. This is how madness begins. Oh, shall I shut up? Hey, mommy. Say, shut up. Look, Dad. It is not an imagination. In fact, right now, she is present in this room with us right now. <coughs> oh, no, Aki. Please tell them not to be frightened of me. Aki. Sir? She says you shouldn't be frightened of her. I think, sir. Now stop playing games at all this spooky stuff. Look, Dad, I'm not playing. Tell him you left his car in a light on. Dad? Inina says you left your car in a light on. Hmm? My car? Yes. He can go and check it. Yes, you can go and check it. <sighs> this is not funny at all. It's true, Dad. Your life! Tell mom she did not blow out the candle in her room when the power came back. Mom? Hmm? Inino says the candle you lit in your room when there was power failure is still on. And the curtains are blowing close to it. Very dangerous. And the curtains are blowing close to it. Very dangerous! Destiny is getting spookier by the time I tell you. Look, Aki, you can fool everybody with your hocus pocus, but you can't fool me. Look, I am not fooling anyone here. Tell her she has a secret crush on dad in school, and she is afraid of telling her. Oh my God! Shola, what? Inina says you have a crush on Brian and you're afraid to tell me. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Aki. Not I, Mom. Yeah, look. The candle was on and the curtains were almost catching it. Amazing. Aki, tell Inina that we are convinced. Oh, she can hear you. Yeah. Oh, good. Can you ask? Mm? Mm? Oh. Can we take it that we're stuck with pet ghosts in this family forever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's laughing. Oh, nice. That's good. Um, I'm glad that someone is fighting him on this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Please tell your dad I'm very sorry for barging in on the family. Oh. She's apologizing to us all. Uh, apology accepted. Apologies accepted. Tell them not to be scared of me. In fact, they can ask for anything for me. I love you all. Oh. She says she loves us all. Don't abbreviate what I said. I'm not abbreviating anything. I'm just saying the important stuff. How do you know what's important? Because they are my family. They have become my family too. Suit yourself, friendly ghost. You don't know how you look. How do I look? How, how do I? <laughs> the joke is on me now, right? Sorry, Aki. You look so ridiculous talking to yourself. Very funny, yeah? 
Thanks a lot. Aki, my crazy son. Our son has gone mad again. It's a super story. Good food and movies. Where the fish drowns or even die of thirst. It's a super story. The place decides you should come. Yes, I'm very sure, Mom. She described the place. And you don't want me to meet from her. Don't worry. I'll be okay. This is a ghost we're talking about. Huh? It's a scary thing. It's... What? Is she in the car? No, she's not. <sighs> Mommy, stop being so fussy. Okay. But remember, you have to be home before 7 p.m. Ghost to me. Okay. See you later. Mom! Take care of yourself. Alright then, you too. I'm here already. Where are you? Oh God. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Nina. Nina, where are you? Hey, why are you shouting? Hey, why do you like sneaking up on me like that? It's fun. Okay, now stop all your funny. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't trust that you're sorry. No, seriously. Okay, so what exactly have we come here to do? Apart from scaring the hell out of you? Yes, apart from scaring the hell out of me. First thing first, this is the spot where I was killed. It is? Yes, but that's not why we're here. Remember when I told you how it happened? I said I threw my bag out of the moving car. Mm -hmm. I want us to find it. Are you kidding? Look, it's like looking for a needle in a hay of sock. Yes, but there's no harm in trying. A man is not a failure because he never succeeded. But he never tried. All right, but do you know the exact spot to go look for this thing? No, but I know the direction I threw it. Okay, take me to it. Come with me. Hey, Nina. Nina, come. Do you feel someone has not found the bag? No. I've been watching the area. know who those people are or what they are up to but whatever it is I must not let them get too close to Lola and the children uh, boss do you really think they could have seen a menace ghost can you see spirit you are the diabolical one tell me um well well I've heard stories about dead persons appearing in locations where the people do not even know about their demise, sir. Nonsense! I don't believe you in that hocus pocus rubbish. Uh, There's no such thing. But sir, uh, I wouldn't totally discard of the idea, sir. Whatever the intentions, be it forces or illusioners, 
I am ready to get rid of anyone that stands in my way. I think we can find anything here in the now. I know it's here, somewhere. Look, it's possible someone came along and picked it up. I hope not. Hope not. But I thought you spirit were supposed to know everything. Then that makes us omniscient. And only Almighty God is. Really? Yes. We're neither omnipresent or omnipotent, like you mortals like to think. So, what ability do spirits have? Well, we are not limited by time, space, or an object. We influence things through our spirit. As much as I would love to stay here and chat with you, it's getting late and I have to go. Okay. I guess you have to go to my mother without evidence. I mean... Are you kidding? No way. Wait, Aki. Wait, no. Wait! Oh! Super story, a life of strife and sorrows. Thank you for watching today's episode of Super Story. You can't afford to miss fresh episodes of This Life, Papa and Jasko and Company of the Soul Sisters Show of Wale Adimiga Productions. We are nothing but pencils in the hand of the Creator. It's a super story. Superstar, a life of precious stars.